Welcome to Connecting the Dots, our Smart Account and Smart License Learning Series. Today we will cover an overview of partner holding accounts, including the different partner holding account roles, best practices, and we'll do a demo of how to manage a partner holding account once it is activated. So what's a partner holding account? A partner holding account is a type of smart account for partners or distributors to temporarily store a smart license order until the end customer smart account is known. It is important to note that licenses can only be consumed in an end customer smart account, not in a partner holding account. Partners who consume licenses for their own use will also need a customer smart account in addition to their own partner holding account. Anyone who has a Cisco ID can request a partner holding account and it's free. What you can view and manage within a partner holding account is based on the role assigned to you. Therefore, it is very important to understand the different roles within a partner holding account. Holding account administrators can create virtual accounts, add users to the partner holding account, and manage all orders within the partner holding account. Holding account users can manage orders assigned to a virtual account. They do not have the ability to add or delete users or virtual accounts. Virtual account roles restrict users to the specific virtual account. There are two main roles within a virtual account. Virtual account administrators can add users to the virtual account and also manage orders assigned to the virtual accounts while the virtual account users can only manage all orders within the specific virtual account. Don't forget that your view of the orders in Cisco Commerce Workspace is based on your role. For example, a partner holding account administrator will see all orders associated with the partner holding account, while the virtual account administrator will only see the orders associated with a specific virtual account in CCW. We recommend the following best practices for partner holding accounts. First, create virtual accounts to organize your assets by location, technology group, business department, or customer base for ease of management. Next, while ordering, if you know the customer smart account, always select the customer smart account. However, if you're not sure of the customer smart account, select the partner holding account until the customer smart account is known. Also, assign the order to a specific virtual account. If you do not assign licenses to a specific virtual account, they will be assigned to the default virtual account. Finally, whenever possible, assign the order to a customer smart account instead of the partner holding account to avoid any delays to license consumption because licenses can only be consumed in a customer smart account. So now that you understand what a partner holding account is, how do I create one? You can create a partner holding account for your company by visiting software.cisco.com and navigating to the bottom right of the page in the administration section. After your partner holding account has been activated, you can access it by selecting Manage Smart Account. Once you enter the account, you will see multiple tabs based on your role. The Account Properties tab provides a snapshot of the account information. The Virtual Accounts tab allows you to add and delete virtual accounts and view all virtual accounts associated with the partner holding account. Users and user groups respectively show the list of users in their groupings that have access to the partner holding account. Custom Tags shows any virtual account custom tags that have been created for the partner holding account. Access Requests are where you can see all of the individuals who have requested access to the partner holding account and either approve or deny their access. Under the Notification Settings tab, if you are a holding account administrator or virtual account administrator, it is important to note that you can set the notifications to notify you of any new orders assigned to your holding account or virtual account. You can also set the frequency for these notifications. The notifications will include details on all the orders that still need to be assigned to an end customer smart account. The Associate Customer Smart Account tab displays the list of all the partner bill to IDs mapped to a partner holding account. Let's quickly understand how this information is leveraged. When placing an order with Cisco, if you forget to assign a partner holding account to your order, the system picks up your bill to ID in the associated partner holding account and automatically assigns your order to the associated partner holding account. Hence, it is always beneficial to have all the partner bill to IDs mapped under the Associate Customer Account tab to have visibility to your orders even if you forget to assign to a partner holding account. Finally, the event log shows the history of all transactions related to the partner holding account. If you're looking for additional resources, check out the Cisco Smart Account homepage and Sales Connect for more information. Thank you for watching this video as we covered a high-level overview of Cisco Partner Holding Accounts.